Hello everyone, I'm Varel Imran and today I'll be telling you about Python versus JavaScript and now I'll be showing you the table of contents so so that whatever I'll be telling in this video you can look uh, have a look at it. So I'll be telling about what is Python, what is JavaScript, similarities between these two, differences between Python and JavaScript, what is the job recommendation and my personal recommendation. So like in job, I'll tell you about the pay, like the average salary per year and the next would be my personal recommendation. So what is Python? Python is an open source, object oriented language and high level program language. Now why it is said it's high level? Because see, if you look at the traditional languages like C++, they are low level. Means it has zero and ones. They are low levels. But high level, it is why it's high level because it has the English like syntax. Means it has the syntax which is similar to the English language. And Python, it works on different platforms. So you don't need to worry about the platform, whether it will work on Linux or Mac or Windows or Raspberry Pi. So it works on different systems. Uh, it works on different platforms. So Python, it was also developed by Guido Van Rusum in 1991. And it's used for web development, the server side, the back end of the web development, for the software development, mathematics, if you're interested in mathematics, and system scripting. Okay, it can also, Python, what can Python do? Let me tell you about it. Now, Python, it can connect to the databases. Now, if you need to connect to a database, so Python can connect to a database. And it can also read and modify the files. It can also be used to handle big data. Means like if you're interested in data science, machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence. So then Python is the language to go for. And it can also be used for rapid prototyping. So, so here, okay. And the good thing, one, adva one more advantage of Python is that that it has this syntax that allows the developers to write code in fewer lines rather than instead of writing the whole line of code so in fewer lines you can write it and it can also be treated in positional way and objected oriented way or functional way means functional means it will have functions in it object oriented it means that it has classes and objects means you make class inside and then you make an object of it so when you learn python then you'll get to know about it so and the recent version is python 3 so that is all about python okay now what is javascript now javascript is a language that allows you to implement complex features on web pages now uh, complex uh, features it means that those features which are the complex ones means like for example if you click on a button on a website if you click on it and then whatever functionality is happening behind the scene so that is javascript work and not only the buttons if you see the images if you see if you look at the videos if you see the text box there are some functions going on if whatever function is going or for example sometimes it happens that the content is continuously reloading so that is also javascript and javascript is uh, often abbreviated as js so if we uh, find the dot js files so those are javascript and it can also change both html and css it can calculate manipulate and validate data and it has like variables as well as numbers and it is also as i said its main language is used for website so it can be used for front end also and the back end also like if i take the example of the restaurant so javascript is the scene happening like the food cooking is javascript and the ones making it 
the ones which are doing the chefs those are the back end people so they are doing means they are doing the function so that is the javascript code so the chef is the javascript code and the thing that is happening that is javascript means the javascript code is used because of that the things are happening and the waiters are the apis means it's a connection between the front end and the back end so so those are the so this is javascript okay now what is the similarities between python and javascript now python is open source python and javascript both are open source open source in the sense is that they're free to use you don't need to pay for anything they're easy to learn javascript is easier than python and uh, java not uh, sorry javascript is not easier than python python is easier than javascript and javascript is easier than most of the other languages so here if you say python is the easiest javascript are is a little bit hard but still it's easier than the other languages both are beginner friendly they are good for beginners if they are interested like if you are interested in web development you can go for javascript because it has both front end and back end but if you are interested more in the like artificial intelligence side machine learning if you want to handle data so then python would be the language and both are scripting languages now number 4 is what is the difference between python and javascript python is slow compared to javascript javascript is fast now if you see in the sense of the website if you are making a website or if the client said that he needs a website which is which should be fast so then javascript is the go to rather than python because javascript has the back end languages or the library such as node js express js and it has for in front end it has the library such as react js and angular js which can be used for web development so javascript would be the go to for web development python is for web back end but if you are if you want to make website like a back end of a website which is more related to the ai like artificial intelligence big data machine learning data analysis data visualization then python would be the go to and you are not in need of a website which is really fast so then python would be the go and as i said python is more for tasks like data science so actually a artificial intelligence is the big thing then inside it it's a subset data science is a subset of it and machine learning is the subset of uh, like not artificial intelligence is the big thing data science is the big thing then ai then machine learning and then you have like more things and javascript it is more for web applications for the job if you see that for javascript developer in us is 133063 dollars per year and for python developer in us it's 125655 per year and this is the average salary per year for both whether javascript developer or python developer now my personal recommendation is to learn both languages okay why i'm saying both languages why not just one of them because it's it would be a benefit to learn both languages for example javascript is for purely for web development but still python is needed if you need like to connect to uh, databases or if you are using adding machine learning in it or if you have machine learning then javascript plus python it would be a good thing and let me show you some of the websites which i recommend that you can use like if you want to learn python or javascript you can search more but these are my personal ones which i would say the to learn from these websites if you go to this website which is learnpython.org now here you can start learning the basics it's completely free to learn and if you like look at them there are data science tutorials there are advanced tutorials you can learn the basics also and here there are other python tutorials also now if i click on this like such as basic operators so here you can see that what are the arithmetic operators and you can also run it and start like start coding 
you can use operators with string so here you can use this and it's really great to learn now let me show you for javascript now which course to learn now i'm here at this website which is called learnjavascript.online now it's the easiest way to learn and practice so here you can also try it out like there are the prerequisites that what you need to learn before coming and learning about javascript so here you like do next and then there's a basic functions returning the results so you can do this and then there are instructions there's this is the browser so for example if it's like function sum so you can use this website to start learning uh, about javascript so that is all from my site and if you have any questions regarding this so you can comment me down below so that is all for my side. Thank you so much.